Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and we have some breaking news. Well, not really breaking news, we knew it was obviously going to happen, but we finally have an opening date. That's right, we finally have an opening date for Buena Vista Street Disney California Adventure. It's opening exactly two weeks from today. Right now, it's Thursday, November 5th, 2020. Buena Vista Street is opening on November 19th, 2020, which is fantastic. Two weeks from today, it's opening on Thursday. Um, good day to open because it's kind of hard to open something massive like that on a on um, on a weekend because of the massive demand. If you open up on a Thursday, and people are, some people are at work, you can kind of get into your operations a little bit better and quicker. So uh, we figured they might open on Thursday, and they are Thursday two weeks from today, which is also the week before. Um, a lot of people have Thanksgiving break uh, for schools. Usually have like a week off for Thanksgiving. So that is uh that's uh the week right before that and the weekend right before that so that really help works out for them as well. As you can see from these first couple pictures, Carthay Circle will be open. These pictures are all from the Disney Parks blog that they released today in their new article. Um, you see it's a lovely burger right here. These lovely fries it looks great. <laughs> I'm actually about to go have dinner right after this video, so this particular picture is making me real hungry. But Looks like the beautiful outdoor seating for the um of course the COVID guidelines, but they're in the orange the uh, orange county uh, orange county, so they can have indoor dining as well. But all the retail shops like Elias and Company, the camera shop, and all the shops along Buena Vista Street will be open along with Carthay Circle as well as Smoke Jumpers Grill. So to uh as a uh, quick service and a sit down place will be open, which is awesome. And then there will be Christmas decorations as well. You can you can kind of see a little bit of them here, but uh, gosh, Buena Vista Street just looks beautiful. And they also, of course, have as you've seen, have the red car trolley out as well. And they have had that out for a couple a few days now, and they're working on it. It's just parked by the street. I wonder if they might have a cavalcade or a show. Or just have it like a photo op. I wonder if you can go inside it even. If you can kind of sit inside. It's kind of section off seating. And maybe you can sit inside and eat. Or just sit inside and hang out. Pretend you're on the trolley. That would be really cool. Yeah. It would be this, definitely a nice photo op. And definitely a nice um, atmosphere feel. Um, yeah. An atmosphere feel. Especially with they have Christmas trees. And the whole Christmas feel really will feel like you're in it. Having a day at Disney California Metro, even though you can only go to the end of Buena Vista Street and, of course, to the small part of Grizzly Peak by Smoke Jumper's Grill. But this will be super exciting. One big major change, change also that is coming to Downtown Disney is paid parking. So far, only SeaWorld has paid parking, Legoland not, and Universal do not. But paid parking is coming to Downtown Disney. The whole town to Disney, whether you're going to Buena Vista Street or not. Um, uh, for the past couple months, we've seen them installing those self-parking machines. Parking will be ten dollars a day per car. Um, <laughs> it's an all-day thing. There's no validation like there was in the past. In the past, there's again it's twenty-five dollars, but then you get three to five hours of validation. And this is just a strict ten dollars per day per car or per car per day. So initially, if this expands. It's like maybe an event or throughout the entire park. I'd expect the parking to go back up to twenty to twenty-five dollars, especially as demand increases, because that is what that is about. There's rumors are uh, according to Fresh Bake, there was rumors of them maybe opening up the Mickey and Friends parking garage, but they didn't mention that. They just mentioned the symbol lot. But I expect again if this expands to the rest of the park or maybe becomes like a knots type event, they then they will definitely open up the Mickey and Friends parking garage. But don't forget. Well, if you want to go to downtown Disney and kind of skip all the lines, and especially if you want to park early, I park at the Anaheim, Anaheim Hotel on Harbor. That parking though is twenty-five dollars, but it's all day long. And from the east side of Harbor, there's virtually no line every time I go, and it's great. You can get there early. I plan to get there on Saturday, November twenty-first, about nine thirty a.m. They kind of let you into downtown Disney, downtown Disney about nine thirty a.m. Last time I was there. Um, for the rally, so I plan to get there between 9 and 9.30 a.m. Park not, obviously, in downtown, uh, the symbol lot's not open, so I parked there at the Anaheim Hotel, paid $25, but 
walk right in and then head right in to California Adventure try to be in line for that to get you guys a video so definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to if you can't make it or don't want to go to Buena Vista Street but you want to see what can, kind of curious what it looks like subscribe because I'll be there on Saturday November 21st for a great video for that with the lovely iPhone 12 Pro with that Adobe Vision video like this video um, give it a big thumbs up share it to all your friends and what do you guys think of the parking fee coming back to Daphne Disney? Do you think it's a generous parking fee? I think it's not too bad. $10 really isn't too bad at all um, compared to what it was before. Um, and well, are you guys excited about Buena Vista Street reopening? Let, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic night.